Hey, it's Joe. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to install HP's new Unified Functional Testing 11.5. So there are two ways you can get a copy of UFT. Uh, the first one is you can go to HP's Unified Functional Testing website, go to Trials and Demos, and select the Unified Functional Testing uh, demo version. Or if you have a license to HP, you could go to HP's Software Updates section and under Application Lifecycle Management Center, uh, you should see a copy of HP's Unified Functional Testing. So just some quick things you should know about before you install UFT 11. Um, if you're upgrading from either QTP 9.5 or Service Test 10 and up, uh, you should have no problem. What's going to happen is UFT 11 is going to install itself over any um, existing version of QTP and Service Test, and it's going to uninstall the older versions. Uh, you do need admin privileges on your machine before you install. So for a full list of things to look out for before installing uh, UFT, just check out my post on my website, joecalantonio.com, for how to install HP's Unified Functional Testing 11.5.0. All right, cool. So once we have a copy of UFT on our machine, uh, it's most likely going to be an ISO file. Uh, so if you have an ISO file, you can either right-click on it and extract all the files to your machine, or you can use um, software like Virtual Clone Drive, which is able to read an ISO file as if it is a physical CD on your system. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the uh, setup.exe. So on the first screen, you're going to want to select the Unified Functional Testing Setup link. It's going to check for any prereqs. You may or may not get this pop-up, uh, depending on whether or not you have all the prereqs installed. Uh, I have a bunch that are not installed, so I'm just going to click on OK and HP is going to install all the uh, required programs for me. Okay, great. So once all your prereqs are installed, um, if you currently have an older version of QTP on your machine, you're going to receive this pop-up. And so I'm just going to continue and let it uninstall Quick Test Professional. And from the dialog that comes up from the welcome screen, I'm going to click on Next. Click on I agree for the end user license agreement. Next. Type in the name and your organization. Okay, now we get to the section where we can select the add-ins that we want to install for UFT. If you've used QTP before, you'll notice there's some new add-ins here. So there's a Flex add-in, which is very cool. And also QT is available. Uh, for my testing needs, I'm just going to select the .NET add-in and select the entire feature will be installed on local hard drive. Click Next once you select the add-ins that you want to use. And I'm just going to take the default install directory that it wants to install to. Confirm Install. Click Next. Awesome. So if everything went well, you should get an installation complete message. So I'm going to click Finish. So from the Additional Installation Requirements uh, dialog, and click Run. It's going to set up your DCOM settings, and it's going to allow you to install a license if you have a license. Uh, so you have two options, either seat license or a concurrent license. And so if you're installing UFT on a machine that's never had QTP installed on it, you're going to get a 30-day uh, demo period. Uh, and after that, you need to contact HP with your locking code, and they'll generate a permanent seat license for you. So if you're at a company that uses a concurrent license, they usually have a server set up that serves up uh, valid licenses, select concurrent license, and then uh, it's going to ask you for the server name or IP address. And after all that, you should get a, uh, a readme file that comes up that tells you what's new, what the specs are, and UFT. And uh, make sure to check out the supplemental information because it has some good information if you're using certain technology of known issues that you may need to uh, work around. So another issue you may uh, run into is uh, if you've already installed UFT, say down the road you have another uh, application you need to test, but you didn't install the add-in initially with the, uh, with the install. All you need to do is go back to the install setup, run the setup.exe, uh, go through the unified functional testing setup again, click Next. And so it'll give you an option either to modify, repair, or remove. So if you clicked on modified, it's going to give you an option to select uh, more add-ins that you may need for the uh, tests that you need to run. 
Um, also, just so you know, this repair is pretty handy. Sometimes uh, previously with QTP, something would get corrupted, something wouldn't work correctly. And by running a repair on it, it usually resolved a, a bunch of issues. Uh, also, if you're testing a Web 2.0 uh, program, uh, you'll have an opportunity to click on Add in Extensibility with Web 2.0 Toolkits. You have some additional options that you can choose from. And that's it. That's how you install UFT 11.5. Hope it helps.